celebrate 90,000 subscribers, we are doing a $500 gift card giveaway to speedyshop.com. Now, how do you enter? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the link down in the description below. The winners will be chosen on August 24th, so good luck to all of you guys. However, if you don't want to wait until then and you want to buy some cubes right now, then just use my discount code and code it for 5% off every single speed shop order. Alright, let's get into the video now, shall we? Guys! This is like my new prize possession. So yesterday, I unboxed the 18 centimeter Rubik's Cube and I am absolutely loving it right now. You know, I'm just so obsessed with the fact that I have just a gigantic Rubik's Cube with me. Now, I've been doing a ton of stuff just like carrying the gigantic Rubik's Cube and it has been extremely, extremely fun. However, one thing I haven't done is solve it with one hand. Now, as most of you guys know, I absolutely hate one-handed as an event in general. You know, 3 3 normally, I average around 9 seconds. However, doing OH, I average around 45 seconds. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that I'm absolutely terrible at OH. However, What's going to happen if I try doing OH with the 18 centimeter Rubik's Cube? So that's the plan for today. Not only are we going to try to solve a gigantic Rubik's Cube, we're going to try doing it with one hand. So let's get right to it now, shall we? First things first, let's just get this gigantic cube scrambled. And okay, honestly, like, I can't even turn this cube with two hands. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do it with one hand. Guys, I'm sorry, I still can't get over this. Like, I'm literally just turning a gigantic Rubik's Cube. This is so fun. I really don't know why I like it so much, but honestly, you guys need to try it for yourself. Anyways, there's our scrambled cube. Alright, looks like we have a pretty decent cross solution. Here we're gonna start a timer and go. Um, so now you gotta turn this somehow. So guys, how do I turn this puzzle? <laughs> I didn't really think about this. Okay, just just turn and then move it over, turn again. Guys, this is not working. Let's see, what if I just tried punching the cube? That actually seems to work pretty well. Okay, I think I'm just gonna try just punching this cube and then solving it like that. So I need to do a U2. Uh, so one, and then two. And uh, almost there. Okay, there you go. Right, I don't think the punching thing is really too necessary, actually. Uh, seems like I could kind of get by tuning with one hand. I just need to get like a certain grip and then it works. Um, yeah, guys, this is like entertaining to watch because I honestly have no idea, but you know what? It's fun for me to do. So I'm just gonna do the video anyways. Oh my god. Kevin, you gotta relax, okay? It's just a cube solve. Uh, I'm just trying to use like, my face to like try to turn the cube. Okay, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm literally just slapping the puzzle. I feel so bad for it. I love this puzzle. I don't want to hurt it. But in order to make this solve possible, I think that's what has to be done. Oh shit, I'm just trying to realize what it's gonna be like when you have to start doing like last layer. Uh, that is not gonna be fun. I, mean, I really can't see myself punching my way to do algorithms, but I guess that's just what has to be done. <laughs> Kevin gotta relax. <laughs> this is probably one of the most violent solves I have ever done. Like, it's literally just like destroying the cube as I'm doing this right now. This kind of reminds me of when I was doing feet because when I was doing feet, I couldn't just turn it. I had to like hit it with my foot. So yeah, it's basically like the same thing. You know, sometimes to turn it, I just gotta, you know, just give me this little punch over there. Okay, got one more F2 up here to go. Dude, the, the annoying thing right now is just doing cube rotations because, you know, it's easy to do cube rotations when you have two hands. When you have only one hand, however, not too easy. Yo, low key, my hands like getting kind of sore. Like this cube is pretty light, uh, but you know just like turning it around and everything and punching it and all that stuff It honestly takes like some physical exertion, which you know sounds stupid But you know what guys you try doing it first and then you can judge. Okay now. I'm gonna do my olo Dude, I have never slapped my way into finishing an olo ever. This is definitely a first for me Cuz I'm tired. Okay, keep on going. Okay, my right arm is like getting all tired and everything and like I'm already sore So this is not fun. Okay, just keep on getting through it. Come on Kevin, you can do this You know, maybe this is what it's gonna take in order to become a decent OH solver You know, you just gotta do a really big cube and then once you go back to normal OH, it'll feel really good again I'm just making stuff up. I don't even know. Guys, it's been around five minutes at this point and I'm not even done with OLO yet yeah, This is kind of tedious. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, and here you go. We are now done with OLO Finally, okay, stretch a little bit. All right, let's continue now. Okay, now for this PLL, I need to not mess this up. Um, okay, come on, friend, you can do this. The thing is, it's kind of hard to memorize algorithms, you know, when you're doing it one turn at a time, because you're more so used to, like, the muscle memory of it all. You know, you're not really used to, like, the individual turns itself. So if I screw up, honestly, I'm not gonna be surprised. Um, but you know what? Come on, you can do this, Kevin. Shit, I did the wrong move. Nope, re restart, restart, stop, stop. Guys, I think I'm like almost done, oh my gosh. I don't think I messed up on the algorithm. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Um, we'll just hope. Okay, you have to keep this coming together. Guys, right, a couple more moves left. We are almost there. All right, and last turn. 
Okay, we'll stop the timer. And uh, 7 minutes and 13 seconds. Oh, anyways, that is me solving the giant Rubik's Cube with one hand. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, make sure you check out our 90,000 subscriber giveaway. We're giving away $500 worth of speed shop gift cards. So make sure you go enter the link in the description. Alright, anyways, that's all for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.